I'm Tony G, the notorious Tony G. I'm the old guy from the neighborhood that uh, tinkers with cars for the last 70 years. Of course, I'm going to be 72, but you know, it's been that long since I was a little kid. I used to go, Nick, you're not even taping it. Sorry, I am. Okay, here you go. She's not taping me. <laughs> she's she's taping. What she's I was. Doing. It's going. I just want to make sure the thing was on this thing. On this episode of Tinkering with Tony, we watch as Tony takes apart his 410 cubic inch 1966 FE Ford motor. He'll also give us some tips and tricks that he's learned through the years as we disassemble his big block. Watch it all here on Tinkering with Tony. The reason we're here today is we're going to be taking apart this big old FE motor from Ford. It's a big 410 cubic inch motor. It's a 1966 vintage. We're going to start by taking this, this bad boy apart. I have some tricks here for being an old guy. You go to a dollar store, you buy a whole bunch of these containers for a dollar. That's where you put your bolts in them. The bolts you take out, you put in there, then you don't lose any bolts. You don't have to look around saying, what did I do with them bolts? And so that's what we're gonna do here. And if, you're, if you don't remember where they go, you get a magic marker, piece of tape. You put it on the container and say, look, this is bolts for the intake manifold. This is bolts for the valve cover. This way, when you go looking for them, you go, that's what I'm missing. There they are in that little container. Did we so, do that thing? No. <laughs> so, ah, so, see, they didn't do that when they took their motor apart because they don't know where their bolts are going to go because they didn't mark them. So anyways, back to this motor. I bought this motor because it's a 410 cubic inch Mercury motor. Very rare. That's because it's a 390 motor with a 428 crankshaft in it. And that's where they got the 410 from. And to verify that this was a 3 uh, 410 motor, most of these engines have an identification tag on them. Locations, depends on upon the motor. FD motors usually are right next to the coil. What you have to do is loosen this bolt and take it out to remove the coil. And voila, look what we have. We have the tag. This is an engine identification tag for this motor. If you look, it says right there, 410 cubic inch, 1966. It was manufactured in 65. This is the month it was done, and I believe this is August. And this is the assembly plant that we built in. So that's all the information you need on this motor. Don't lose the bolts. Technically, I put the bolts right back in the hole, like something like this, so I know where they're at. If anybody knows anything about old cars, you can take a look here. This has got old points in it. Look at it. That's what makes the spark. When this motor turns over, this thing opens on each one of these lobes, which is a cylinder, and makes the spark. Okay, now to taking this apart. Good pair of old gloves. You don't want to get the greasy on your hands. Place I start is I'll pop the valve covers off first. Get my handy little three driver. Get a 916 socket. Oh, yeah. And pop the valve covers off. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look how clean. 
for 66 motor is really no sludge buildup, which is unusual because usually these things are, you can't see nothing in there. Hide the valve cover, you gotta use the valve cover later for your rack arms. Next step is other valve cover. It takes about two minutes. Notice the drip train. I believe there might be oil in this motor. I don't know. Pull a PVC valve out. This is gonna be replaced because if you notice, the hose is all dry rotted and cracked. It's not really any good. So you gotta replace it. You gotta take the bolts out. Isn't this beautiful? The old, uh, look at the old cork gaskets. That's ancient. They gotta just fall apart. You can tell how old this bad boy is. Okay. Next, take the rock arms off. The reason you take these off next is because the push rods go through the intake manifold. If you look here, you can see where it splits. That's the intake. So these have to come out. And what you want to do is keep these together. Don't take them apart. There we go. Dead boys loose. You need the bolts right in the rockers. You lift this right up. Baby's pretty clean, let me tell you. For being a 1966 motor, that's an excellent condition. Set this baby right in the valve cover, just like that, so you don't mess it up. And here's the push rods. These are nice and clean too. This motor has a drip tray. What they use this for is to keep the oil from splashing onto the valves because sometimes these valve seals get old and brittle and hard and the oil sucks in and it burns oil. So they put a drip tray to keep the oil off of this to keep it from really getting excessively nasty. You gotta take this old baby out. Wrench. Oh, look at that, it's not even tight, come on. I would hope it comes out. If that sees in there, we're gonna have a little fun getting it out. This will just pull out. Oh. oh, this is too easy today. Look how clean it is. I mean, it's not even caked up. Usually this gets all caked up. You can't get these out. You have to use a pry bar. It's getting right out. And now, you got to take these bolts out. That's what's holding the intake on. Then I'm going to have to get an assistant here because this thing here weighs 85 pounds. Assistant? Yeah, my assistant is right there. I put the ass in assistant. Yep, there you go. That's what we need. We need, we need, we need a muscle guy here because this old guy can't do it himself. So let's take these bolts off. Different lengths. Gotta look around, these different lengths. They're not all the same. Whoa! Hey, that one. That, that's not a good one. Why doesn't that one come out? What did you do to me? It's always the last one, right? <laughs> so what happens, you get old, you lose your power. Let's see if I can break it loose with this little ratchet. No! <laughs> now we're back, and I brought some intake manifold removing tools. Bar and a hammer. Those are four special These tools. things are stuck. <laughs> I'm really stuck. Usually you could take it and pry this up. But this baby, she ain't moving for nothing. So what you want to do is you want to come back here where the gasket is, give this baby a little tap. Uh, she's, she's giving me a little hot time. Hmm. So then you get this bigger brother. <laughs> this thing 
want to move one. Look at this! There it goes. Oh, ho ho! Yeah. We got her to move. She's pretty st stuck on there. Everybody, these they don't come right up. They ain't gonna rip off. Look at that! Just sitting right on the ground. Oh, yeah. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's one heavy intake, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, here's a sludge. Look at the sludge in here. Got a little water, probably because when I power washed it, got in there someplace. This you gotta keep. You gotta use it again and again. Again and again and again. It's, it's a part that you. And that's just a lifter tray? That's just a valley, they call it. No, valley. What it does is it keeps the heat from the, that from here. Okay, and that's what that is. If you look, one side's gonna be cleaner than the other side. So, mm. yeah. Can we have fun? <laughs> yeah, I am. Are you? I can't wait. Can't wait to get this together so I can put it in my car. My yeah, car. we gotta talk about yeah, that we gotta next. Keep gotta put it inside the car. Let's see if this baby will take these off. Oh my goodness! Look at that. <laughs> It's just like there was no tomorrow. Look at, look at you win. Huh? You're winning. I know. So what do you think? You think it's just going to say off? No. You don't think so? No. I don't. I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to, you put a bolt back in. So your head don't go flying? So you don't lose it and fall on your toe. Yeah. Safety first, remember that. Boy, look how greasy this is. Oh man, who did that? I don't know. <laughs> I think Stan did it. Stan, did you do that? Stan. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn it. Oh yeah. yeah. He's on the pins now, so. This is gonna be hezzy. These are hezzy bolts. Heads. Hezzy heads. You ready? Yep. Oh, I can't believe the thing that is inside. Let's stand it up. Look at that. Nothing. Look how clean these are. Wow, for being that old. That's amazing. I'm gonna have fun with this car. <laughs> no rust, no nothing. How bad of a look? No. Not bad. No. Like nothing. Wow. That's That's pretty insane. Like you said, for that year? Yeah, for 66. <laughs> Dave, you didn't follow the glove rule. Right. That was number one. <laughs> no safety. <laughs> this side's got a little rust probably because I, when the power washed it. Well, these are going to be tough to get off. Look at these old gaskets. Wow. I Not bad, huh? <laughs> Not bad at all. We're talking about this carbon buildup where the piston comes up. It's got hardly anything there. Anything. That's am amazing. Am amazing. Am amazing. Let's see what comes out. Ha! Huh, nothing. Oh. <laughs> She's got the no nothing in there. Holy moly! <laughs> That's pretty cool. I figured there'd be old oil and water and crap fuel in there. Yeah. It was sitting in a barn for 40 years. What was the guy's name? Earl. Earl. Earl from... <laughs> Thank you, Earl. From Silver Creek. Thank you for this beautiful motor. <laughs> you did a fine job of setting me up. We got to take this out of the way first before you take the timing cover off. I'm sorry. Because this don't come over this. That's this right. comes off before that. The old fuel pump. Oh, fuel Mechanical pump. fuel pump, David. You know, does that look familiar? Do you have one of them? <laughs> sure do. What do you have on? Your 56 Packard. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? The little gun takes that off. Yeah. Zippity doo dah. Here. That's mine. Give it a bowl. Well, this we gotta keep. I don't know which one we're gonna use. Put that right here. Now we're gonna get a pull so I can pull this off because this ain't gonna come off. Oh. Time out. Time out. <laughs> 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 Two. 
want to put this on there, Steve, show him how to do it. <laughs> it's this way. See, you put this bolt in this hole, and the threads are good. They're good, baby. baby. Bolted right to it. Center this. Tighten these up with it. I don't know if this little gun will do it, but. This is amazing. This slid off of there with no problem. Are you believing that? No, I'm not. I'm not either. <laughs> Usually this is... This seems staged. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? You took this apart already, didn't you? <laughs> no, that's what upsets me. I did not take this thing apart. I thought I might be fighting this. Give it a shot. The gasket held in place. Look at the clean. This thing is so clean. I just... This is an original. There's the fuel from there. So how do you do that? You just unscrew that? Or? Yeah. There's a canister that goes in there. I don't know if I can unscrew it. Life's gonna try. Get the fish out. No, I didn't think so. But this just looks good. They have a, like the oil filter one. Yeah, like the old school. Somebody here didn't do that. Somebody collapsed it. Hmm. But yeah, they have filters for this. Back then. Back then. But how clean this, I mean, there's no caked up, nothing. I mean, when you took yeah. yours off the package, was it caked up? Oh yeah. I mean, look at this. This is what, 10 years? Old, but newer. Newer. See? Newer. It's newer, that's fine. That's a big old timing chain. Look at that, the gaskets are still good. For cork, that's, that's pretty wild. It's pretty clean. It really it's is. Big. How sloppy is it? Yeah, it's pretty sloppy. It's got the original plastic gear, I'm so yeah. It came with a plastic gear? Oh yeah. Wow. Wow, what do you think they came with? Metal? Metal? Maybe. Well, the reason they put plastic is to make it quiet. Oh. So you wouldn't hear it. This was a luxury kind of motor, which was out of a Mercury Marauder. So it had to be quiet. Plus perform, but it had to be quiet. So you put plastic. Everybody used nylon. It's actually nylon. Shit. Yeah, I wouldn't kid you. Seriously. This thing put it in there. Then? Yeah, let's put it. Let's put it in with that. Well, that's the key way. That's yeah, what the that's timing chain and everything is related to. Mm -hmm. Could do that too. You want to add in there with that? Yeah, you can do that. Oh, oh. Um, bolts. Hey, Famoco, still original equipment. Ford Motor Company. <laughs> this is like. <laughs> this is this is too easy. It's gonna come off. Uh, I can't read it. Moves as it is. I said this is this is unreal. I've never seen something come apart this easy. Just like the Beatles, twist and shout. Yep. Oh. Okay. This probably don't have a straight as even in. Now I'm gonna take the rest of the pan bolts off. Take a look and see what it looks like. Look at these. Aftermarket soft plugs. That's kind of Mickey Mouse setup. They couldn't push in the good ones, so they ended up putting these rubber. I'll show you what they look like when you pull them out.
other one will come off. Probably gonna be. Use it to play against that. Here it comes. Oh. Say money, money. See. Not too shabby. There's mm -hmm. another one on this side. They put one on each side. They're too easy to put the, the rubber it? cord plugs in. They put the rubber. That's a quick and easy way of doing it. Did you ever see those before? Yeah, sold a couple of them. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Persuasion. Oh, look at how clean, look at this, how clean this is. There's nothing in there. Look at this. This, this, this ain't right. This had to be taken apart. It just had to be. I, just, I can't believe how clean it is. What do you think, David? Yeah, either that or it's a little old lady car. And the dad took care of it. Yeah. <laughs> or it does it from the factory. They're all, this is a made set. Oh, they number them. They say from that line, they're matched. Oh, yeah, because we got a Ford guy and a Chevy guy here, right? Eh? Yep. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm sorry about the Chevy. I mean, I really am. But... <laughs> it's okay. So, what do you think? Here we go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what the? F it's like brand new. There's no marks in it at all. None. Out. You gotta be kidding me. It's absolutely gorgeous. Man, you hit a, you hit a home run on this. You yeah. happy, Tony? I'm so happy. <laughs> Can I tell you the secret? Pull these out. Pinch them together. together. Oh man, I can't believe how nice these are. This thing's been nicer than smooth or what? Smooth. 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 Fine as frog hair. Smooth. Smooth. Really smooth. Here's the wife. <laughs> Fish got, time. You gotta take a break. Talk to the boss. <laughs> I am gonna take this motor, finish it apart. I'm gonna rebearing it. We're gonna get it hot tanked. We're gonna have all these welch plugs replaced with brand new ones. I will do that in a later video. We will do that. Uh, for now, I want to show you why I'm doing this. Why I particularly got this motor. I'm a big Ford guy. This is a big black Ford FD motor. FD stands for Ford Exel. That's their design in 1958. That was their motor that was used for uh, a decade up until 68, 69. This was the last year for this motor, except in some of the trucks, they still use them. So this motor is in excellent condition. I'm gonna do further research to find out if those are original bearings, if those, everything is original, to find out the possibility this might be a very low mileage old motor because there's no, no signs of extensive wear, carbon buildup, none of the above. Stuff that you normally would expect to see in a motor this old. I mean, this motor is, what, 40 some years old? Yeah. 66. It's quite old, but it's in excellent condition. I mean, you can actually see this oil screen. It's clean. And there's no debris. Usually you find debris from the oil, from the gaskets, from anything that gets sucked in there. This motor don't have it. So what this motor is going into is this car right here. We're going to take a walk and take a look at my baby. One up. <laughs> 
This is the bad boy it's going into. This is a 1965 Ford Falcon. That big motor is going to be in this little car. I bought this just for that. I got a real sweet deal on it. You notice there's no motor in there. It's empty. To make that motor fit, I'm going to have to take and cut this right here. Take that all out. That's all going to be gone. The mount's going to be gone. It's going to be all different setup. But that's later. Later in the trip, it's going to be done. Right now, we're going to worry about putting the motor and taking it apart getting it together. Then we're going to start. Yeah. In between, we might take this thing apart. We might take the fenders off, the grill, all this stuff, and clean it up. Getting ready to accept that motor. I will walk you through it. I might even, I might even show you some paint work on it. Ooh. You guys are lucky. So until further ado, see ya shortly. Bye. My equipment. Oh, loading <laughs> <Lose and> stuff. <laughs> Lock the motor and fall apart. We're doing good. <laughs> 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 I got great and good bar. Okay. Is he a cute assistant? Oh yeah. He's better. Dan, are you a good boy? Yeah, yeah, you are. You're a good boy. Row, row, row.